Hi, we all know the sentence, there's a time to speak and the time not to speak. You know, when you think about Hashem created you with His breath, how much will you use your breath to create a bond with Hashem? There's also a teaching that says that God stopped speaking when He created the peaceful Shabbos. When will you stop speaking to create peace in your home? So a good time to really think about this attribute of silence is during the Amida. We take a few steps back, kind of reminding us that in order to bring peace and harmony into your world, sometimes you'd have to step back and not speak and be silent. That's why at the end of the Amida, it also says, Ose shalom bimamave, we're going back to teach us again. Be silent, step back, hear. You know, the word for silent is also listen, if you rearrange the letters. So like, what can we do to really bring more peace in the world? by keeping silent. There's an actual beautiful Pasuk that says, in silence, righteousness do speak. So some teach this idea. You can give a look, woohoo, <laughs> and it'll be worth a thousand words. Like you could show your disappointment without saying a word. And that might bring a little more peace because they'll see that you were hurt. They'll see you're upset and they'll get the point without you having to lash out of them. You know the, the rule about, you know, if you have to critique someone or criticize them, these are the three rules. One, don't do it. Two, don't do it. Three, don't do it. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Rather listen, bond, and find creative ways to get the message across without the harsh words. Even the Torah teaching, when you need to swallow up someone else's negative behavior, be like Aaron, the staff. Remember, his staff swallowed up the other snakes, you know, during the plagues, and that showdown, like, you know, <laughs> Look what God can do. So the question is asked is why wouldn't have it been the staff, you know, swallowing the staffs or the snakes swallowing the snakes? Why was it the staff swallowing the snakes? Basically, yes, it is a greater miracle than an inanimate object is swallowing up something because it wouldn't be so like great if snakes were swallowing snakes. Okay, that's one reason, but the real reason and like a real strong message to us that when you're trying to swallow away someone else's negativity, don't do it, w you know, with anger. Make sure you're like with the staff of Aaron, with a real like strength of conviction of you're doing this for their benefit because you love them, not because you're angry or want to like make them look like they are lesser than thou. So... Amida is a time to think about this ability of being silent. So, in silence, righteousness to speak means as follows. You need to be quiet for a while. Take a deep breath and think it through. Like, and then you'll be able to speak in righteousness. Because either one, you'll be like, I am really angry right now. I'm not feeling in my right mode. And if I open my mouth, it's just going to be Yitzhahara. And it's really going to damage the relationship or create distance. So if I'm silent, I can like spy out. Am I like coming from a good place right now? Or I'm in a Yitzhahara mode. And then you'll be able to really, really save the day. And if it is coming from a good place, then you'll be able to think it through how best to say what you want to say without hurting them and without ruining the bond. So, are you ready to take three steps back, really be silent, 
and then you'll be able to Ose Shalom. Oh, we need more peace in this world, and I'm counting on you. Ah, oh, sweetie, have a wonderful day.